So in this video we're going to look at lattice multiplication, the lattice method. This is a brilliant method for large numbers. So let's have a look at a smaller example first. It's a good alternative to um, the grid method and the traditional method. So we write this out in a grid. We've got um, two numbers by two numbers. So we need a two by two grid. And we simply write the digits of the first number along the top, the digits of the other number along the bottom. And then we draw these diagonal lines down. And that, that set the grid up. So what we do is we multiply the different boxes. So this box first. So we're going to do 3 times 2 is 6. And then 6 times 2 is 12. So each box has like tens and units. Then we do 3 times 5 is 15. 6 times 5 is 30. And then what we do, we're looking down these diagonals. So the first diagonal down here, we've just got zero. Down the next diagonal, we've got 10. So zero, carry one into the next diagonal. So on this diagonal, we've got seven, eight, nine. And on the last diagonal, we've got 0. So 900. So let's have a look at another example. So this example will do um, 2, 5, 8 times 7, 4, 7, 2. Okay, so we'll set the grid up. We have 3 times 3. So... 3 by 3. Spend a bit of time setting your grid out. It will really help. Same with the grid method. The more careful you are, the more accurate you're going to be. So bring them down. Okay. So we'll write the numbers in. We've got 2. 5, 8, 4, 7, 2. So we'll do 2 times 4, that's 8. We'll do 5 times 4, that's 20. 8 times 4, that's 32. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 7, 35. 7 times 8 is 56. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times 2 is 10. And 2 eighths are 16. So now, again, we go down the diagonals. So the first one is 6, for the units. Then we'll do 6 and 1, that's 7, for the tens. Then we'll go down this one. So 5, 15, 17. We need to carry one number across into the next column. So if you imagine that being the next column along. So add that up. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. So again, carry one into the next column. So we've got 10. 11, 12. Don't need to carry one there. So, 12,000, uh, 121,776. It's quite a, an easy method for very big numbers. Keeps it nice and neat.